Marwa is once again cracking a whip on his haters or let me call them haters under cyberbullying and defamatory acts and guys if you have been watching my past videos i've been so much profound on what you upload on this youtube space and two days ago i made a video about youtube threats and why some people can find themselves in the wrong arms of the law when they keep uploading videos when they keep uploading live threatening videos on youtube and even their youtube channel might end up being getting deleted if they keep doing that i also made a, a video about reaction videos and why scientists are supporting positive reaction videos positive reaction videos based on mirror neurons okay and today we are going to look up uh, we are going to look at the law what the law says about making defamatory statements on youtube including the jail terms we are also going to look at the jail terms guys grab your popcorns grab your book grab your pen because the class is about to begin welcome again guys to my other reaction videos i hope you're doing fine i hope you're doing amazing whatever you are i'm also doing just as good as you okay continue somebody suggested in my comment section that he wants to see me outside this space don't worry very soon you are going to see me outside but at the moment this is what i can afford sometimes going outside and creating content requires a lot of money and you know <laughs> i'm not yet monetized eh? it will require me to break my small bank and it's really really time consuming you know you have to close my shop i have to do a lot of things okay but i respect your opinion so much and guys continue commenting continue liking and sharing my videos okay and yeah we were on the kenyan law so where were we we were looking at the law and two days ago we are looking at what the law says about defamatory statements in print defamatory statements or even visual defamatory statements that you make on the social media including youtube and just two days ago somebody was jailed somebody was sued on tiktok somebody was so don't think that it cannot happen it can happen yes it happened here in kenya somebody was sued so marwa was calculative when he, he posted this on his community posts he knows that it can happen okay and we are going to look at the law what the law says about these defamations and the jail terms and i'm going to share with you the screenshot okay so let's dive in and by defamatory or defamation i want to make it very clear we are looking at defamatory reaction videos reaction videos that sabotage brand there's a difference between fair use or right of expression and defamation don't confuse between fair use that is granted by the u.s law which is also in the in the youtube which is also granted in the YouTube community guidelines and defamations. These are different. These are two different. These are thin line. Okay. So let's look first at the Kenyan law. What the Kenyan law says about this defamation. So guys, this is what the Kenyan law says about making negative defamatory reaction videos on YouTube. This is what it says. The penal code states any person who by print, writing, painting or effigy or by any means otherwise than solely by gestures, spoken words or other sounds unlawfully publishes any defamatory matter concerning another person with intent to defame that other person is guilty of the misdemeanor termed libel penal code of 1930 at 194 cap 63 august 1st 1930 kenyan law website okay so now class is still in session so guys defamatory or negative reaction videos we can all agree they still fall under this penal code we can still agree on that okay now let us look at the general punishments on convictions okay down here 
down here the general punishment imposed on conviction for misdemeanor including defamation is a maximum of two years in prison and or a fine meaning you can be fined and you can still be jailed or you can be fined and not be jailed or both okay right so guys hmm, that is what the kenyan law has to say about making negative defamatory reaction videos if you make this neg if you continuously make this negative defamatory reaction videos and someone sues you you're going to pay fine or you're going to be jailed for close to two years or for two years not close to two years for two years okay or yeah or both you're going to be fined and you're going to be jailed that is what the kenyan law has said and so far i can say that i have made about scientists what scientists say about positive reaction videos i have said uh, uh, what the kenyan law says about uh, negative defamatory reaction videos now the last part we are going to see what youtube has to say about reaction videos i understand there's what we call the fair use and there's what you call copyrighted videos we all know that youtube prohibits people from making uh, from from taking uh, the content creators clips as their own or for taking the content creators youtube videos as their own but there are also exceptions to you for this which falls under what we call fair use and we are going to look we are going to sh i'm going to share with you the screenshot so that we can see this and understand this even further okay once again class in session sit down <laughs> so the first rule of copyright okay that is according to youtube the first rule of copyright creators should only upload videos that they have made or that they are authorized to use that means they should not they should not upload videos they did make or use content in their videos that someone else owns the copyright to such as music tracks snippets or copyrighted programs or videos made by other users without necessary authorizations that is the first rule of copyright according to youtube but there are exceptions okay copyright exceptions are laws that allow you to you to reuse someone else's copyright protected material without getting their permissions but only under certain circumstances which are these circumstances that they are talking about guys so guys yes youtube is promoting youtube is accepting reaction videos under fair use okay and uh, and for for content to qualify as fair use it must fairly critic it must critic a video as a way of promoting freedom of expression whether this person loves or whether this person hates and when you hate this particular part of this video then you must also give your own specific reasons it, it it you know create an added value content okay don't don't upload a whole video as your as your own you might be demonetized it might be taken up as a reused content and youtube doesn't love doesn't want a reused content or you might also get a copyrighted uh, strike so those guys who have fairly used um, these clips from these content creators and you have made your own commentary and probably they have at some point striked your videos and if you have you are 100 percent sure you did nothing wrong you can make an appeal mm -hmm. as you have seen from the screenshot that i have just shared with you because i know there's one one of our negative reactors striked one of our positive reactors i'm sure he this person didn't even understand about youtube fair use they just put a description there on their description and they don't understand what it means so guys if you have been striked now this is the time to make an appeal and youtube will remove that strike for you it's false under fair use okay but again uh, i've also mentioned there's a thin line between freedom of expression and defamation okay there's a thin line there's a difference between the two and guys for those people who know these haters these marwa's haters they have been calling marwa's marwa beggars they have even linked marwa with black magic power okay that is defamation linking someone with black magic that is defamation without any evidence you know calling someone a thief without any evidence again is also defamation calling someone beggar and all manner of names just to 
paint him a bad picture that falls under defamation okay so the parting shot is don't upload or re-upload videos that contravenes kenyan law or youtube community guidelines okay please understand these laws understand kenyan laws understand community guidelines and also don't upload a whole content as your own because you might be demonetized or your channel might be striked okay are we good see you see me in my next video guys see you let me go now see we have talked huh? see me in my next video and of course before i leave before i leave i don't know why i always have to do this if you have watched this video up to the end please subscribe if you have not subscribed share this video like do all those good stuff and peace be upon you